Hey YouTube, this is uh, Comic Hero 77 back with another video. Um, this video is actually going to be my second comic haul video where it features uh, comics that I recently, recently purchased off of either eBay or my local comic shop. Um, I usually get the majority of my books off of eBay. I find some really great deals on there. And um, so we're going to start here. Uh, with Adventures into Fear, number 27, uh, which features the living vampire, Morbius. Now, I love Morbius. I think Morbius is a great character. Um, he actually, his actual first appearance is Amazing Spider-Man 101, um, which I do have a beat-up copy, but it's still uh, uh, a great copy uh, to have in any grade. Um, but if you want to see his... If you want to read or look at some cool art of his solo adventures, um, you should check out Adventures into Fear. Um, some really great art and some really great covers. Um, and he actually starts his solo adventures in issue number 20. And I think they go up to like 35 or something like that. Um, but if you're a big fan of Morbius um, and you want to check out some more stories that are just solo um, check out adventures of fear it's really really great stuff this is a vf plus vf solid yeah, i got it for a few dollars so it's like you know pretty awesome grade um yeah it's really great you can't go wrong for a few dollars you know so um love the amazing spider-man love John Romita Sr., and here you get both. <laughs> um, this is number 83, which is the first appearance of the schemer, who happens to be um, the kingpin's son in disguise. <clears throat> so he's actually, his son is actually wearing a, a mask here, and this is also the first appearance of Vanessa Fisk, which is the kingpin's wife. Yeah, so this is a, it's about a fine, Solid, fine, plus, um, got this off of eBay. Um, I'm really stoked about this because this is like, this is uh, filling the gaps that, of, of my Amazing Spider-Man run that I'm, I'm, I'm missing. Um, my goal is to eventually get issue number 39 through 100, and I'm just a step closer with number 83. And it's just a great book, especially with the, you know, black covers are tough. You know, you can really see the flaws easily, but I'm super stoked about this. Um, also filling uh, the gap of my Amazing Spider-Man collection is number 92, which is a great Iceman, Spider-Man, and Gwen Stacy cover. Um, super, super stoked about this um, because, you know, I was able to find this on eBay for, you know, about maybe $20, $20 or something like that, or a little, uh, um, a little less. But, uh, yeah, I think I got this maybe for 16 But it's um, it was listed as a VG slash fine, which is solid. I mean, the book looks solid, but I think it might be a fine minus. It looks a little bit better. And the, the grade stated, but I'm just super stoked to have this. I mean, look at the, the colors are just so vibrant. And it's really great artwork. I mean, there is a spine, you know, slight spine roll there, but you know, it's real slight. Um, but you know, I'm I'm digging it. Really great. Um, I do have DC stuff. Uh, eventually, I'll make a video just dedicated to my DC collection. But um, I bought this in the in the comic hall. Uh, you know, my local comic shop for a few dollars. This is Detective Comics number five sixty one, and what a, I got it solely for the cover. I mean, it's just a great cover with the bat signal and everything. Um, this is actually the done by Ed Hannigan. And uh, the cover, and by also by the great Gene Colan, who did the interior as well. Um, 
So, you know, you can't go wrong. I mean, Gene Colan's known for his uh, his Daredevil run, but it just super stoked to get this. And it was only a few dollars, so I was, like, super happy. And it's also, like, a VF Plus, a VF Solid. For a few dollars, can't go wrong. This is Detective Comics 538, which is also a Gene Colan cover and interior. And very cool Catman cover. Uh, you know, I really do like the way Catman is drawn today with a, like a mellow orange color. But I'm I'm a fan of the the uh, cheesy yellow and orange costume, uh, which looks very similar to Batman's. Um, but I think it's great. Uh, you know, and I didn't know. Only found out recently that Gene Colan did DC stuff. I you know had not known that uh, prior um, to to buying this and I was like so stoked because he's just such a great artist and such a great cover and the interior is great as well and again VF plus for a few dollars you know can't go wrong this is Daredevil number 35 this is what Gene Colan's known for I mean he's just got some reputation on on, uh, on uh, Daredevil I you know I got this for I think I got this for like a, you know, fifteen dollars or less, I believe, on eBay. Uh, and I bought this with another book, and I think the total came out to twenty. So I think it might have been less than fifteen dollars. But the guy's got it listed. He had it listed for a VF uh, plus. I think it might be a fine, very fine, or a VF minus. <clears throat> but it's a solid copy. And really bright colors, just, you know, not too much wrong with this. There is like a little piece of, it's like a little, you know, break there and a few other places and, you know, a slight spine roll. A very slight, um, but I'm really digging this. Yeah, great Gene Colon right there, number 35, which is help filling the gap in my Daredevil collection. Um, this is um, Droids number one. Which is a Marvel Comics. Uh, Marvel Comics decided to write, uh, launch a kids line called Star Comics, and Droids was one of the books, besides Ewoks and um, you know a bunch of others, um, uh, Garfield, you know. But I picked this up because uh, you know it is Star Wars related. But if you look carefully on the bottom here, right next to um, R2-D2, right there, it says Ramita. And this was done, the cover was done by John Ramita Sr. And uh, I'm so stoked that he has a place in the Star Wars history. Um, he, he can do anything. I mean, when I saw this, you know, I was like, wow. I mean, I got to pick this up. It's a v VF+. Plus. I got it for a few dollars. Um, I think I got it for five or something like that. But I was like super stoked to have it. Um, um, and uh, I believe he did, there, there's eight issues, and I think he did all eight covers. Or he did at least six of them. But, it, you know, it's, it's a solid book. And it's a great John Romita senior cover. You know? Looks great. The colors are super bright. Um, the next issue here is Fantastic Four 45, which I'm so happy to have finally get this. Um, Fantastic Four 45 is the first appearance of the Inhumans. I have 46, which is the first full appearance of Black Bolt, and I have 44, which is the first appearance of Gorgon, and I have issue 47 which is the first appearance of Maximus the Mad, um, uh, which is the brother, the evil brother of Black Bolt, who's trying to take the throne of the Inhumans. And now I have 45. It's nothing to brag about. I mean, it's about a VG, VG minus. I think it's a VG minus. It might be even a, a, a G slash VG, but um, you know, that's just me. But he had it listed on eBay for uh, uh, a VG. I got it for eighty dollars. This is a super hot book with the movie coming along. Um, it was in an auction, and I got it for eighty. 
Um, but still, I thought it was a great, good price since they're all going for much more than higher grades. They're going for ridiculous prices. So, um, you know, I'm happy to have a VG minus. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a really great book. Love it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Swamp Thing. And I was able to pick up, you know, a number one by the great Bernie Wrightson. It's dated 1972. I think it was released in 73. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, it's about a, it was listed for a, a, a VG, um, a VG slash fine. Um, I think it's a fine minus. Um, it's solid, really good, great cover. And I love Swamp. You can't go wrong with Swamp. So I'm really, I'm really stoked to to have have this. Um, I my last comic haul. You might have seen um, seen this. This is Journey into Mysteries, um, Journey into Mystery, King Size Annual Number One. This is the first appearance of Hercules. Um, I'm showing this one because this is my third copy. I just recently got my third copy, um, and the last saw I think it was my second copy. Got it for 17 bucks. I got them, you know, uh, I'm really happy with this. This super, you know, it's a, it's a VG. It's, it, you know, it's got issues on the spine, but nothing, nothing too bad. But I, I'm really loving it. I mean, the colors are still bright. It's even got, you know, you know, it's got some, you know, gloss on it still. I mean, it's a really cool book. And, and I'm a big Hercules fan, so you can't go, $17, you can't go wrong. My last book for this video and is Omega Man number three. Now, Omega Man number three is the first appearance of Lobo, which I'm super. I have a raw copy, which is like a near mint minus, but this is a CGC nine point six, which I'm super happy to 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 get. I got it at my local dealer, uh, Hank. He owns Bulletproof Comics in Brooklyn, New York. Check him out. He's got some old stuff. Um, he's got a lot of new stuff, and you know he's got great knowledge. Um, and he gets C, uh, stuff CGC, CGC from time to time. Um, now on eBay, in an auction, this goes anywhere from fifty-five dollars to seventy dollars. He gave me a, uh, a really good deal. I thought it was a good deal. Uh, he gave uh, this to me for fifty dollars. Um, and I want to thank him for that because he's been so nice to me since we, uh, since I've been going there, always been cool. And, you know, we always chat because we just have a good time there. So I want to thank Hank for, 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 um, giving me a good price on this and just giving me a great comic. I mean, first appearance of Lobo, um, is an underrated book and, uh, you know, you should get this book. This is a great comic. Yeah, so I'm going to end this comic haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much. This is Comic Book Hero 77 signing out.